This weekend marks the return of the famed head of the Charles Regatta after last year's COVID cancellation. The three-day event attracts thousands of rowers from around the world, along with a swarm of spectators, which is a great shot in the arm for local business. Here's WBZ's Paul Burton. It's a tradition unlike any other. Up an inch, ready, up. Yeah, the environment's amazing. It's really like no other race in the world, and it's amazing to be back after two years. The head of the Charles Regatta is back this weekend after being canceled for two years because of the pandemic. Seeing the rowers back on the Charles means a lot to the rowing community. I, I think it's an epic moment for the rowing community, really. Um, it's, it's so exciting after COVID. Um, this is a very symbolic weekend for the rowing community to be back in, present, in the present racing on the Charles. The three-day event brings in rowers from around the world. 64 races taking place in two and a half days. Riverfront from Hartford, Connecticut won their race for the third time in a row. I mean, for me, it's it's the atmosphere. It's it's all the people. It's it's all the different uh, events, the, the different clubs that come out. It's, it's just, it's such a mecca of rowing. It's been a long two years, but it's clear the energy and excitement is back. 11,000 rowers, more than 2,000 volunteers, all coming together to take part in this historic competition. But this is technically 57. Uh, started in 1965 at the Cambridge Boat Club by some, you know, ardent rowers. And it was really originally just two, two, three hundred boats. Now we're up to 2,300 boats. The perfect weather was also great for vendors and businesses hoping to cash in on this weekend. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.